So, okay, let us speak about um, so-called lucid dreams, uh, dream yoga. Um, well, I think that any uh, advanced system of meditation must include lucid dreams because um, you see, um, as you remember, the structure of um, any human being is like there are three bodies which we have physical body, sthula shariram in Sanskrit, then astral body, sukshma shariram, and the causal body is the karana shariram. So, according to some of the modern esoteric schools, we have something like 5, 7, 16, 35 bodies. But as I already told you, that's um, okay, let us respect this approach. But this is a more like misunderstanding with a translation because we have actually three bodies. But we have uh, some, some, some so-called um, kosha. In the kosha, there are five koshas, and sometimes people translate it as the body, but it's not body. It's um, different aspects, so we can call it shelves of our inner world. And uh, that's the reason why no emotional body, no mind body, no intellect body, all that not bodies, all that are cautious. But anyway, um, again and again I want to remind us wonderful chapter number 43 where, from Autobiography of a Yogi when Yekteswar appeared before just in front of Yogananda in Bombay city in some, some hotel and Yukteswarji gave wonderful lecture about structure of the universe and that's actually structure of the human beings and Yukteswar was speaking about physical astral and causal body and um, the same thing we have like three states which we experience each of us uh, during the day. I, I mean day, I mean 24 hours. <laughs> Is the um, waking state Jagrata Vastha in Sanskrit, then Swapna Vastha, which is um, actually dream world and Sushupti Avastha, which is a um, deep dream state. And um, all that three states, like waking, dream and a deep dream, they directly connected with uh, three bodies, physical body for the waking state. Dream state is actually astral body, and the causal body is active when we experience deep dream state. So right now, for example, we mostly active with our physical bodies. When we see dreams, mostly astral body. And the deep dreams, deep, deep dream state is mostly causal. Not mostly, just active is the causal body. And the huge thing is that really we are none of them. We are consciousness, we are witnessing, we are observing all this process. That's the reason why we have great philosophy of uh, state number four or Turiya, Turiya Vastha. This is a state of consciousness or if, if we wish we can call it in a more Biblic in a Christian way, soul. And this soul, and Hindu people also speak about soul. Buddhists, they are not. Okay, but Christian and Hindu, this 
easily speak about soul and this is the state number four two here we observe all that three bodies in the three states and for me it's um, quite strange when um, some spiritual schools they say no no you know dreams are illusion we don't need to pay attention but come on if we practice meditation when we awake this like daytime then why not to practice it in the like in the dreams actually it's very important why not to practice it in a deep dream state and as um, normally uh, it's more like scientific mistake they call dream deep dream state as the dreamless state it's wrong because we have dreams but totally different kind of dreams it's a abstract world of pure information which is like causal plan of existence and we do have dreams there but like totally different kinds of dreams we can't recognize it because we're not conscious enough I mean mostly people I mean the meditation practitioners they may be they can be and even must be conscious on also on that deepest level but for the most of the people it's even difficult to recognize existence of the dreams because okay the normal dreams they're like this physical world just it's a subtle picture subtle kind of but the same houses landscapes people different beings so we can recognize but the causal world is the pure information and you have to be able to think on that subtle level to recognize it and um, well the complete sadhana means we have to practice on all three levels whatever we speak and discuss about meditation mantras Kriya Yoga meditation, Vijja mantras, we have to practice on all three levels. That is a complete sadhana. Um, okay, uh, let us um, speak a little bit about some practical things about how to experience this lucid dreams i'm very happy that now we have so many videos so many books so many seminars and workshops about lucid dreams i think it's great i think it's great but um okay now we're going to speak about how to get that experience and then it's good to speak about why we need it yeah there's a totally different bunch of questions and quite many teachers cultures they easily may explain how to get it but forgetting to speak about for what no because sometimes even teachers of lucid dreams sometimes they don't know for what just just nice just cool <laughs> the purpose yeah purpose of that 